Hello, welcome to PowerPoints. How many words per minute do you speak? Do you know? Do you care? Does it matter? Does it count? Well, just counting the number of viewers and readers who find my website, it does. It does indeed count. The people who find my website via search engines use these key words and phrases. How many words per minute or the acronym WPM. So it's not a coincidence that I write a number of articles on this topic as well as incorporate this in my coaching when I work with executives who are interested in improving their public speaking skills. As I prepared this presentation, I thought of the children's bedtime story, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You recall the three bears, the mama bear, the papa bear, and the baby bear were discussing porridge. And one bear said, it's too hot. And the other bear said it was too cool. Well, if the three bears were discussing how many words per minute to use, one bear might add, not too fast. The second bear might caution, not too slow. And the third bear, probably the baby bear, would say, just right. Just the right speaking rate. Just the right rate so that your audience understands your subject, your words, and your message. My natural speaking rate is about 160 words per minute. Now this is faster than the normal range of 120 to 150 words per minute. Joan Detz is a professional speech coach and the author of It's Not What You Say, It's How You Say It. In her book, she wrote, President John F. Kennedy was a notoriously fast talker, often topping 200 words per minute. You certainly don't want to be that extreme, but in general, talking a bit fast is better than talking too slow. Why? Speed projects charisma. Slowness projects lethargy and can frustrate listeners. John F. Kennedy gave memorable speeches. Nearly 50 years later, I'm still moved whenever I hear a recording of his most famous speeches. JFK projected vigor. He also used short sentences and he used powerful action words. He wrote and spoke using an active voice. He had a focused message and he certainly projected charisma. JFK's WPM count was just right. So it's not simply your word count, the number of words per minute that you speak that matters. It's also your topic, your choice of words, and your manner of delivery. Take all of these together and you will determine what WPM count is just right. Just look at your audience. They will tell you. Is your audience nodding in agreement, paying attention, maintaining eye contact with you as you speak? Then your WPM is just right. Is your audience falling asleep, yawning, or looking at the clock? Your WPM is probably too slow. And either you or your subject may be boring, to them at least. Is your audience straining to hear your words? Are they trying too hard to concentrate? Your WPM is probably too fast. Lily Walters is the best-selling author of Secrets of Successful Speakers. In her book, she wrote, the listener thinks much faster than you talk. People generally speak at 150 words per minute, but think at 600 to 700. So your listeners are able to jump ahead and around the topic. They start adding in all kinds of factors from their own lives and experience that have very little to do with what you're talking about. It makes the pieces of information they are juggling in their brains monumental to consider. One proven technique that memorable speakers employ is the power of the pause. Mark Twain wrote that impressive, eloquent, progressive silence, which often achieves a desired effect where no combination of words, howsoever felicitous, could accomplish it. Recall the words that that fast-talking President Kennedy used. Recall the words he delivered in his 1961 inaugural address. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Now that is a perfect example of the power of the pause. So in conclusion, choose your words carefully, practice your delivery, check in with your audience. That is how many words per minute you should speak. Then you will be just right.